All right, let's break down this. Morgan Boyle reported shoulder dislocation from Thursday night against the Penrith Panthers. If we roll the tape, we'll have a look first. All right, so we can see Matt Burton comes off his left foot on the inside of Moses Suley and makes a, li a little half break. Morgan Boyle's in cover D. In a little bit of a scramble as DCE kind of comes in to get Matt Burton to the ground. Matt Burton's still pumping the legs, finds his front. And momentum of the tackle, you can see you've got DCE, you've got Morgan Boyle, and then you've got Moses Suley all finishing on the back. But the momentum of the tackle from the half break that Matt Burton's made, the momentum brings Morgan Boyle over the top of DCE and Matt Burton, and he plants his right hand into the turf. Now you can see his hand sort of planted in the ground. Moses Suley's on the back of him. And then as we keep going with momentum, we can see that he's sort of forced into this excessive abduction external rotation, which is a classic position for an anterior shoulder dislocation. So the shoulder joint itself is designed for movement. So the glenoid fossa is quite shallow and it allows us to have all of this freedom of movement in the shoulder to position our hand in space and kind of grab things in overhead and anywhere that we want. But what we kind of have in movement, we give up in we give up stability. So the shoulder is really reliant on the dynamic stabilizers, the rotator cuff to really stabilize the shoulder when we're kind of in these vulnerable positions. Now with this position here, it's a very typical position for a shoulder dislocation that we've seen, and it's been reported for Morgan Boyle that he suffered a shoulder dislocation. It was reduced on the sideline, I think, um, but this is very typical if we break this down. As the shoulder moves into that kind of excessive, ro excessively rotated and uh, abducted position, the actual uh, ball part sitting in the socket will rotate, but actually kind of translate forward causing a dislocation now we hope uh, Morgan Boyle is doing all right and we hope that he has a speedy recovery it all depend on um, the extent of his injuries with shoulder dislocations usually go for scans to check for any structural issues any uh, what we call bank heart lesions or any Hill Sachs lesions um, on the actual humeral head and the glenoid fossa and hopefully all is okay and everything's uh, a speedy recovery from Morgan Boyle is promoted to the starting side on Thursday night so that's a quick breakdown for your Easter happy Easter enjoy your weekend